Hey everybody, you ready for a totally uninspired game? Sniper Elite V2. V2 stands for the uh, type of missile that he's trying to stop. Which he'll explain, obviously. It's uh, that time again for a uh, Yusef Kills Nazis game. You know, for, for my birthday or whatever. Or for everybody's birthday in the month of February. For Black History Month. For everything that happens in February that anybody gives a shit about. So. Hitler's war machine, once unstoppable, was now on the retreat. The Allies in the West and Russia in the East were squeezing the tattered remnants of the Reich in a vice-like grip. Germany's last hope lay in their wonder weapons. The V-2 rocket, a huge leap forward in the history of military technology. It was a weapon system to herald a new form of warfare. Inhuman. Faster than the speed of sound, it struck without warning. The Nazis launched over 3,000 rockets in a desperate attempt to reverse history. It was a terror weapon. Pummeling Antwerp, Paris, and London. After the D-Day landings, their launch sites were overrun and pushed back out of range of England. But already, the Allies were looking to the future, to the next war. The Americans were gathering up the best of Germany's rocket scientists in the top-secret operation Overcast. Many of the architects of the V-2 program had already been acquired, but not all. With Berlin encircled, Germany's last-ditch defense falling back block by block, and total defeat only days away, those scientists remaining in the city would soon be in Russian hands. My job was to make sure that didn't happen. Hitler's war machine. Major General Hans von Eisenberg was negotiating in secret for safe passage for his team. Five of the V2 program's top men. He was me. Ist eine Frau aus Berlin rausgekommen? Ich weiß es nicht. Nicht wesentliche Kommunikationen sind verboten. Wenigstens keine schlechten Nachrichten, oder? Keine Nachrichten. Was das war ist das? alles? Ich will nicht daran denken. Er ist hier irgendwo.
I played through it one time, and it's pretty cool, but it's really difficult. I'll shut up. Von Eisenberg was punctual and made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. I had a clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger, and it was good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. The square was well sheltered, so there was no wind to worry about. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim, and then... Mann am Boden. Wir werden angegriffen. Scharfschütze! Ich habe seit zwei Tagen nicht geschlafen. Uns geht es allen so. Ich glaube bloß nicht, dass du was Besseres bist. Ich kann kaum meine Augen offen halten. Kontakt! Feuer! Tötet sie!
von Eisenberg was dead. I was committed now. Both the Russians and Germans would know I was in play. Four to go. <coughs> Intel told me my next target was Dr. Gunter Kreidel, an expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V2 production facility, where the other three scientists were waiting. I'd identified a point on the route where I could lay a booby trap and stop the convoy. Naturally, the area was defended. I'd expect nothing less. Oh, I can select a rifle? So the German rifle has the highest rate of fire available. Semi-automatic action is complemented by having the highest zoom level. Though a muzzle velocity means wind and gravity effects are amplified. But that's not a thing here. It's a potent Russian rifle balanced with a decent zoom, high bullet velocity. The bolt action reload slows the firing rate. I got two of them. Giver. 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 This is Springfield. Standard issue. American rifle high muscle muzzle velocity means less compensation is required for gravity and wind. However, the bolt action slows the firing rate. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Giver. Let me see. What's my secondary weapon? I don't get one. Lacks the accuracy of the Thompson, however, it makes up for its higher rate of fire and more plentiful ammunition behind enemy lines. What's this? Psh, 41. Higher rate of fire compared to the other available machine guns. Recoil from this, however, can cause less accurate and more difficult to control. Let's stick with the Thompson. The silenced British pistol, not much use in a firefight, but perfect for picking off targets without being detected. Yeah. I think that's fine. I'm just going to go with the Gewehr, though. Yeah, I went ahead and changed the, uh, I went ahead and changed the, the, um, the, the, uh, me change the mechanics, so my bullets aren't affected by wind or, or, um, they're not affected by wind or normal stuff, so I can just kill people without, without having to deal with the reality of life but um the bad guys are harder so that should make it more interesting wann wird der konvoi hier sein ich weiß es nicht You know, um, in Velvet Assassin, the people were so bored, they would, they would have these long-winded conversations, right? And the conversations were actually interesting. But here, they don't have interesting conversation. All they do is just talk about the exact same thing that's supposed to happen, right? Like, something I already knew about. So when's the convoy coming? Let's smoke a cigarette, you know? Although, in the last, the first stage, that guy was talking about whether or not his girlfriend was coming through. That was a little interesting. Alright, let's see who we, who we can creep up on. Sorry, I played these first two stages, so now I'm, like, killer efficient on them, you know? And I did it with the, uh, gravity activated. Uh, oh, there's a little shiny thing over there.
15 out of 100. That is a collectathon I will not be giving a shit about. Oh, good. Bullets for my Gavir. I already got a hundred uh, rounds. I'll never run out of rounds for that thing. Let's go ahead and do it. Dang, right through his teeth. I like that. Help me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the word for breathe. Ah, right, dude, I need to really start doing dual dual lingo or something. Dual lingo, dual lingo. Shot you straight up in the head, man. That was whack. Get one headshot off every time I open up. That guy's getting close. Try to lead moving targets to account for travel time. See where they are to begin with. No music. You know what no music means? That's the, the uh, international sign for for uh, you just killed everybody. At least they don't have some dumb guitar riff like they do with uh, Gears of War. Oh. 
Oh, there he is. So I have no idea if I'm gonna have to battle or what. The hell there's supposed to be something down here whatever it, he climbs up the stairs really weird I died. That was a bad idea. Let's try that again. See, this is why I can't set booby traps, man. I gotta keep it simple. They shoot people in the face. Caught that guy. Oops. I'll take it. Two moving headshots in a row. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's try that again. Those guys surprised me. Um, that's another thing that's irritating. The sniper is not very movable. I mean, he can kind of run, but you don't um, think about using the run button. And I'm not used to the... the cover. I don't know why it's Y and not, not A. Let me see if I can change that in options. Nope. Jeez, I'm getting my ass whooped. Turn to the shopper. Yes, you in. Those guys are so aggressive.
We're still playing the music, so that means that the guys are still out there. I guess not. Why is the dynamite there anyway? There you are. Fight da drüben. Oh, come on, be nice. Run. What was I getting shot at? Hope you don't mind me going through a challenge, everybody. It's actually making this game more interesting. Disappointed that guy is not there no more. Ah! I'm getting all my controls mixed up. That's why I keep ducking when I should be running, you know? I want to run for cover, but... Whatever. What was that? Fight off! <laughs> 